everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Angela and I'm an Angelic Arcturian. And today I wanted to transmit for you guys just a little energy update about what I've been feeling in the collective energy and what I have been intuitively sensing is happening with the collective consciousness right now. So in order to understand what is happening and kind of the core of this energy update and teaching is going to be explaining how human or any collective consciousness is formed. So when we're in a 3D density where we have an ego, we tend to see ourselves as separate. And part of our ascension process as a collective is to dissolve the separation and dissolve the ego. And the only way that we are able to do that is to purge our collective shadow. And the shadow is everything that is unconscious, unseen, dark, disturbing, twisted, and wrong, right? What we perceive as wrong. So all of that darkness has to come up in order to be moved out of our energetic field so that we can then replace the darkness with the light energy and the high frequency energy. So what's happening with the collective right now is the collective sees themselves as separate from each other. They see themselves as black or white, Hispanic, Italian, whatever race. We see ourselves as separate in terms of our gender. We see ourselves as separate in terms of our socioeconomic status. We have all these religious and different, many, many ways that we consider ourselves separate from each other. And what we're trying to come into right now is this idea that we are not separate from each other. That it doesn't matter what continent we live on or what color our skin is, we are all brothers and sisters in the light of Christ consciousness, which is what we are moving into. Christ consciousness is the consciousness of light and unity and oneness. So in order for us to reach this level of unity and oneness, we have to collectively purge the shadow, which is what we're seeing right now. With the pandemic, the first stage of the shadow purge was the pandemic, and that was slowing everybody down, removing distractions, and putting them in a position where they had to self-analyze. Is this what I really want? Is what I'm doing sustainable? Is this providing meaning in my life? And so a lot of people were put into a space where they were somewhat isolated, they no longer had the busyness of the world around them to keep them distracted, and a lot of people had to really look at themselves and their own lives and be like, is this working for me? Is this what I want long term? Is this sustainable? And so a lot of people experienced personal transformation or the beginning phases of it, right? Beginning to become aware of life outside of this really busy paradigm that we've been living in that's kept us really distracted and kept us really separated. So. The isolation of the pandemic was stage one. And now we're seeing this level of unrest and racial tension. So to really understand how this works, you have to understand how a collective consciousness is formed. A collective consciousness is formed by us all feeling like we are separate. So we get in our collective smaller groups that are separate. So the easiest way for me to explain this is imagine the earth has a bubble around it and this bubble around the earth is the collective consciousness this is the result of every thought and emotion the collective you know um, assemblance of all everyone's thoughts and emotions all at once and the vibration that that creates so we have this bubble of our collective consciousness but we also within this bubble we have these smaller bubbles or pools of this collective consciousness, which we define as black or white, or I live on this continent or that continent, or I study this religion or I study that religion or whatever it is that we are using as our separating factor, we form these little collective bubbles of this separation, I'm separate from you. And so we've got all these little bubbles within the big bubble that are believing themselves as separate. And so what, what what we desire to do on a spiritual and subconscious level is to merge all these smaller bubbles into a bigger bubble, which ultimately creates unity and oneness and a collective consciousness of maturity. 
because right now humanity's collective consciousness is very scattered it considers itself very separate there isn't a lot of unity happening and in order for us to be able to ascend to higher frequencies and levels of consciousness that merging and the formation of the human collective consciousness needs to happen and everything that's happening right now is the process of forming this consciousness this means as these smaller groups begin to purge their dark shadows they are creating space for more light to come in and what happens like in the case of the riots i just want to say this it seems dark it seems you know really bad like uh oh this could you know end up being something really bad with all these um, riots it could turn into something more dangerous and our ego mind is going to catastrophize and say that you know it's um, the apocalypse is soon to come and all of this you know fearful thinking but what's really happening is they are beginning to purge their shadow and as they create this suffering which is how we are able to ascend our consciousness unfortunately it can only be done through our own suffering when we are on these lower levels of consciousness or we're on ego we don't learn and we don't awaken and we don't expand our consciousness unless we suffer enough of the darkness to reach a point where we decide you know what i don't want to suffer anymore i don't want to you know perpetrate pain on my black neighbor as a black person like this is not um, this is not what we want this is not born of love and so they will create a lot of suffering in, in an area with a collective but what it ultimately does is it catalyzes the collective to say I don't want this suffering anymore what can we do to change it and so it catalyzes a change within that collective that then opens them up and makes them more consciously aware that suffering isn't any fun and that not only is suffering not any fun but it's not empowering it doesn't give us any satisfaction and it's not a loving energy or a loving frequency it's a very negative frequency so this is how we learn as a a smaller collective within the larger collective and so each division of separation at some point is going to have to purge this shadow self so each individual collective has its own shadow that needs to be purged so that we can come together and decide suffering is not the way we want to choose to learn anymore we would rather learn from a space of love and unity versus chronic suffering and pain and so this is the realization and the consciousness that humanity is striving for and we're going to see a lot more chaos and destruction before this is achieved but this is how it's achieved so it's important to understand that it's all divine order it's all divinely orchestrated and it's just the process of spiritual evolution on any density on any planet with any collective consciousness human beings are not the first people to go through this collective transformation and we won't be the last to go through this collective transformation and after humanity has undergone this collective transformation we will then reincarnate on another third density planet to help that collective reach this transformation so it's very natural it's very normal everything that's happening right now is absolutely supposed to be happening and once you understand how transformation happens how awakening happens how we come to form this idea of unity then you understand why the suffering is necessary the suffering is a catalyst for expansion a catalyst for growth a catalyst for more awareness a catalyst for more unity so as we purge these deep dark shadows up it looks scary it feels scary it can be uncomfortable it can be disastrous even but what comes after that is the divine light and the divine wisdom and divine unity and Christ consciousness becomes a part of our everyday life and we begin to reach these higher states of consciousness and the higher states of consciousness that we reach the more peace and love and unity we find as a collective so this is the trajectory of humanity right now <clears throat> this is what many of us have come to assist humanity into understanding that it may look like apocalyptic it may look scary but it's actually very divine in a very normal process of evolving consciousness as a collective 
This is affecting the entire world on some level or another, which means it's affecting the entire collective consciousness in a way that is going to propel our collective consciousness forward and allow us to dissolve these barriers of what we perceive to be as separation. The ego sees everything as separate from itself. The soul understands that we are all the same body of God incarnated in different physical manifestations, but we're all the same energy and we all come from the same source. And this is the very basis of unity. And until humanity learns to achieve this level of consciousness, of unity, there's going to be these collective purgings of the shadow, there's going to be death and destruction and suffering, it's just a part of the process, you guys. And if we didn't have suffering and we didn't have contrast, there wouldn't be anything to propel us forward, there wouldn't be anything to smack us in the face and wake us up and be like, wait a minute, suffering is not fun separation is not fun let's try doing something different let's try coming from the approach of love and unity instead which is ultimately the crescendo of what humanity is going to realize in the next several years but it's it's a gnarly process in the meantime so it's important to stay out of fear and a big part of staying out of fear i believe is having these understandings understanding how consciousness evolves understanding how the shadows must come up in order to remove the density because the third dimension is such a dense heavy dimension so when the 3 3d shadow comes up it's dense it's heavy it's ugly it doesn't feel good it's not pretty to look at but it is the pathway to enlightenment it is the pathway to humanity's consciousness expanding above and beyond the ideas and paradigms of separation. So we just need to observe and stay out of fear. And also if we can manage to purge our own shadows, I think a lot of us individually are being called to also purge our shadow nature. Because when I purge my shadow, I also help and aid the collective in purging the collective shadow. So these are how our roles, it's everything is connected. Everything I do affects everyone else. Everything everyone else does affects me, so it's, it's, it's really empowering to have these understandings of how consciousness evolves and how nasty that process can be, but also how beautiful it's going to be on the other side. So I hope that gives you guys some perspective. I will never tell you that anything is one way or another, but I just want to offer you a different perspective. So. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you next time.